If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. It's got the same ring to it. Rich, how are you, bud? Good to see you. Drew, Rich, good, good to see you. Nestor Apparition, good to see you. Good to see you. How, you how are you? Rich Eisen has stopped by for a visit, which is cool. We'll talk to him about... Uh, there's a game going on at some point here, right? In the next yeah. couple of days. I don't know. What are you talking? Oh, we're, we're, we're aware of that. I don't Can I know. Ask you like a, I have some, hey, have some uh, hand gel because we all shake hands all day. Is there a germ blast? It's uh, sanitized. Do they, bla- smells do they really blast different. the germs? Do they, we think, think so. We haven't been sick since we got here. Okay. Hung over, so but not good. sick. Are you having fun? Is this fun for you? Yeah, this is fantastic. It's beyond great. Wait till you see all these people are going to come up here starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm on the air all the way till 6 o'clock. What do we got today? How much you have to prep for today? What do you oh, have? Oh, God. There's no... Like, what? Hey, listen, I mean... I you got to be ready for anything. Yeah, you got to be ready for anything. But, uh, you know, when you're on the air with Kurt Warner and Steve Marriott, you want to fall at the same time. That's How much do you need to have, off right? The whole thing. Yeah, I mean, they got just, it all. You know, the, the, it's my job to ask the question about a retirement. Or actually, you know what I'm going to do? Um, it's my job. This is how I prepare for it. I'm like, how do I start the interview? And the basic thing is just let Marshall and Kirk go. And they won a Super Bowl together. They've known each other for years. Just let those guys talk. And because I think fans would pre- prefer to hear to be the fly on the wall with me, with two guys who won Super Bowls together, or both Super Bowl together, won two Super Bowls together, and have known one another, and sp- speak to one another on the phone, and catch up on families and make decisions about your life like retirement and what have you and and just uh, and sit back and let that conversation go so that's how I prepare for stuff like that and then we've got uh, Tim Brown Emmett Smith John Madden Mark Sanchez Chris Johnson Phil Sims Jim Nance may stop by uh, I mean the list goes on and on that's just Wednesday I heard he's gonna come on Friday we're we're you know we're hoping to get the who to the set if we don't get them to our set on Thursday uh, I will go speak to uh, Townsend and, uh, and Daltrey, which is a personal thing. Wow, that's pretty cool. If Daltrey walks in here, I think Drew's going to be very, very excited about I think, that. We're, listen, I don't know what their schedule is, but, uh, you know, we have an in with the league. Really? We'll check that. I, well, that was, that, I, I wanted to bring that up to you. Rich, how do you balance, and I will give the league credit for a bunch of things as it relates to the NFL Network, because I've always thought one of the coolest programs, and we've had him on a couple of times, is uh, Pereira sitting down every week yeah. and analyzing and taking the heat for some bad calls or some things that happen along the way right. where typically the league might want to go under wraps and say, hey, so how do you balance that? is an issue, I think, throughout media right now. Well, so. the bottom line is this. The NFL News, yeah, it, it couldn't start a network and have it be popular if it's just going to be, you know, some sort a PR of show. Uh, yeah, yeah. whitewash. Right. And, and I wouldn't have taken the job. And uh, I got a call after, you know, I was, uh, uh, after I took the job, I got a call from an executive in the league I, I had never met in heart. You know, I'd heard his name a couple of times. He was the uh, uh, COO of the National Football League. Roger Goodell called me up, took me golfing in, uh, in New Jersey. Or, or, well, bottom line. Better been Shinnecock. We or teed it up. Me and me and Roger teed it up. And right around like the twelfth or thirteenth hole, after we were just you know meeting one another, essentially, he says to me, "When you go out to Los Angeles to do this show, do the thing that Steve Bornstein, the CEO of NFL Network, uh, and former of ESPN, I tell him he's smart enough to have hired me twice." He says, go out to Los Angeles and do the thing that we've hired you to do. And if you say something or an owner or someone may have a problem, I'll, I'll take the phone call. But do your thing. And other than that, that was you good know, to hear, wasn't it? Other than that, you know, the, the NFL marching orders when we started was there's no talk of gambling over and under and things okay. of that nature. Confuse me. Those terms just confuse me. I don't even know what they mean. That's my reaction, okay. you know. So um, gambling. It's just the only thing that we're just uh, don't talk about on the air. And if people need their NFL news through that prism, there's so many different ways I guess they can find it. So um, I, I honestly cannot tell you a, a single time we were told you can't say this or say that. And, and, and we're, you know, we're, this is our seventh season. Well, I think players watch players. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.